is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Prime. Welcome, you're watching The Property Show, your trusted guide with the most credible advice on buying and selling property. Our advice is backed by solid research done by our knowledge partner, Lysos for us. And to answer your questions, we have Nemunisa Khan, Head Research and Consultancy South, Lysos for us, with us in the studio. But before we start taking your calls, let's take a look at what we have for you today. In our top story, we highlight the issue of hapless buyers of Hubtown in Thane who have filed an FIR against a developer as even after waiting for over six years, their dream home is yet to be delivered. Niti Aayog suggests government to release sick PSU land banks in order to make housing for all successful. Then we shift focus to Ahmedabad and bring you homes in a very pocket-friendly budget of 30 lakhs. Also, affordable properties in Pune, under 40 lakhs. Prime property options in Bengaluru. Best property deals in Noida for your use. And finally, 5 tips to make your home summer ready. The Property Show has regularly made efforts to give voice to buyers who feel victimized by delayed deliveries. One such section of home buyers uh, that we supported through our show is of the distressed buyers of Hubtown Greenwoods project in Thane, Mumbai. The home buyers have now scaled up their fight and registered an FIR against the builder who denies any wrongdoing. The Property Show team investigates what exactly went wrong. <laughs> Almost a year ago, the angry buyers of Hubtown Greenwood's project had taken to the streets to protest project delay. Launched in 2009, the project is nowhere near completion. The developer had promised the delivery of the first phase by 2011. Tired of waiting and with little sign of delivery anytime soon, the buyers have filed an FIR against the developer. All the buyers have come and we are lodging FIR against the builder under section 420-406 of Indian Penal Code along with section 13 of MOFA, Maharashtra Ownership Flat Act. So you know, ki at least builder should be arrested because he has not uh, bothered to possess, hand over the possession of the flats. So today we are lodging the FIR and uh, thereafter proceed with this uh, initiative action. The buyers who have by now paid almost 80 to 90 percent of the total project cost are now left high and dry. The construction of the project is almost halted and buyers allege that there is no communication from the developer about the completion of the project. Some of them also allege that developer might be wanting to create a third party interest into the project. 2009 block book और हम लोग का पोजीशन का डेट था दिसंबर 12 तो अभी कितना साल आपका होगा तो आपको मालूम है बराबर हां अभी हम लोग बिल्डर के पास जाएंगे तो बिल्डर सबसे बड़ा क्या बोल रहा है कि मेरे पास पैसा नहीं है ये जो हम लोग का सबका पैसा है तो हमारा पैसे का हिसाब कौन देगा फिर आई एम रियली कंसर्न दैट ही इज पर्पसली नॉट कंप्लीटिंग दिस प्रोजेक्ट सो दैट वी आर फ्रस्ट्रेटेड इनटू सरेंडरिंग आवर फ्लैट्स टू हिम एट द रेट एट व्हिच वी बॉट देम फ्रॉम him uh, somewhere in 2009 we booked at around 4000 per square feet and uh, if we surrender our flats back to him at that same rate he can resell those flats again to other customers at the current Sorry. prevailing rate so he purposely wants to just cheat us out of our uh, you know money when ndtv tried to contact the developer for the story they gave us an email statement which i quote we would like to deny that there has been a delay for 7 years in the project for most of the customers we are committed to deliver the project. We are committed not to pass on any increased cost to customers in spite of the provision of reimbursement of escalation in cost in agreement and deliver the homes at the agreement value itself. Hubtown Limited has been regularly communicating with our customers of Hubtown Greenwoods through all established channels of communications. 
Regular site visits are conducted for customers to view the actual progress at site. If everything would have gone as per the plan, these home buyers would have been staying in their dream homes today. But instead, they are running from pillar to post seeking justice. Will the government and new regulations like RERA help them? In Thane with camera person Anand Malipu, Ashwini Priyorkar, NDTV. And now it's time to answer your questions and for that we have Nemunisa Khan with us. Our first caller Deepak Redkar is joining us on the phone. Uh, Deepak, uh, what is your question? Where do you want to buy your property? Uh, Ma'am, last year I had booked a 1 BHK in Gudecha Greens, Kandivili in Mumbai. Okay. Possession will be in December 2018. So basically I want to know what is the future of this property and how will be the return in future. Absolutely. So uh, Nemun, He's already uh, invested and he wants to know whether he should hold on or uh, you think that uh, the market is not that good. Maybe he should stay and show patience. Certainly. See, um, this uh, project, uh, Gundecha Greens, I would categorize it as a mid-segment project uh, in Kandivli. Uh, I think it's very uh, close to Thakur village and even its uh, proximity to Sanjay Gandhi National Park uh, is one of the advantages that this uh, project is holding. And if you look at the uh, price point, currently the developer's price point is I think 11,000 rupees per square foot, whereas the average price of the market is around 11,600 rupees per square foot. So in terms of uh, comparison from the average market price, I think it is trading off at a lower price point in fact than the uh, entire uh, Kandavli East market. Uh, and um, if you look at the inventory overhang, uh, that is one thing that you have to be cautious about because the inventory overhang out here is quite high because of which if you see the annualized returns in Kandavli in the, in the, in the past three years, it has been around 2.6%. So uh, if you're holding on to this project, uh, I think you should be, uh, you should have the holding capacity of at least 8 to 10 years uh, but I would still suggest you that you should certainly hold on to the project because apart from the, uh, the the past market scenario if you look at the future infrastructure that is coming in this area in fact two lines of Mumbai Metro line 2 and line 7 both are going to pass through uh, Kandivli once operational and once uh, the connectivity of Kandivli improvises and there is a trickling demand uh, from Andheri and um, Malad where the prices are going to increase eventually. So there will be a huge amount of demand that will come in Kandivli and then this market will see an upward move. So I would suggest that you hold on to your investment and uh, just uh, keep patient and as the market uh, condition revive, you will definitely good, uh, you will definitely reap a good return. Okay, so Deepak, uh, if you look at the kind of future prospects this uh, project has and uh, the area has as Nevun advises, you should hold on. Let's go ahead and uh, take our next caller on air. We have Akhilesh Chandra with us. Akhilesh, go ahead and ask your question. Uh, Ma'am, I'm looking for a property in Ahmedabad. Okay. My budget is 30 to 35 lakh. Okay. Okay, fine. Uh, yes. yes. I'm looking for two BHK flats. The area would be 1,000 to 1,200 square feet. This is my preference, uh, ma'am. Absolutely. We'll try to take all your uh, conditions into consideration. So, uh, Nemun, uh, Ahmedabad is the place he's chosen. Now, the city is fairly big. It's got many micro-markets. Micro Which one do you think is best suited for him uh, keeping the budget in mind? I think uh, keeping the budget uh, requirement in mind and also uh, the habitability factor uh, I think Chankhira is a market that you should definitely explore. The average price of this market is 2,600 rupees per square foot. And uh, I, I wouldn't categorize this market as a very high-end market. It's still an emerging market and uh, uh, very affordable in its sense. Like, you, you know, there are many offices of ONGC, Indian Oil, SBI in the proximity because of which this market has been able to sustain its demand in the affordable segment mainly. And uh, uh, going forward in future also, it, it has a very uh, a good potential because it's, it is right on the intersection of the SP Ring Road and the SG Highway. So it's proximity to Gandhinagar and Gift City also increases. So I would say that uh, definitely look into this market and look at the analyzed returns. It's been 5.1% in the past three years, which is uh, really good for Ahmedabad market. So I think we'll give you a go ahead for uh, Chankeda micro market. And uh, the three projects that we would like you to look into here are 
are by the names of Swati Greens, uh, Aradhya Homes and Dev Prime. In fact, Aradhya Homes and Dev Prime both are ready to move in projects and uh, Swati Green is in the finishing stages. It will get completed by the end of this year itself. So I think uh, any of these projects would be a good bet for you. Actually, if you look at it, uh, Akhilesh in his email had uh, clearly stated that he wants something which is either ready to move in or should be ready in six months. So, let's take a look at these projects that uh, Nemun is suggesting. First is Swati Greens and the price over here is 2,550 rupees per square foot and the unit size for a 2 BHK is 1,098 square feet. The second option that she is suggesting is uh, Aradhya Homes and the price here is 2,500 rupees per square foot and the unit size for a 2 BHK ranges from 972 to 1071 square feet. And the third option that she's got for you is Dave Prime and price here is 2,333 rupees per square foot and the unit size for a 2 BHK is 1,251 square feet. So these are the three options that Nemon is suggesting. Let's go ahead and take our next caller on air. We have uh, Nick, Nikhil with us. Nikhil uh, Vilochin is with us. Nikhil, please go ahead and ask your question. Uh, I just want to understand uh, Noida Sector 150 Tata Value Home Prospect and what other options I have if I want to buy in the range of 60 lakhs. So as you can see from the email as well, uh, Nikhil wants something for his own use, Nemun, and he's already seen uh, sector 150 and he likes Tata Value Homes. What do you think about it? See, um, if he's chosen sector 150, um, I would suggest, like, you know, I would like to share the information that sector 150 specifically uh, is uh, in Noida master plan, it is designated as a recreational zone. So the FSI out here is quite low. That means you might not have a lot of high rise buildings in this location. And because of which the, uh, this sector uh, in future may develop as a uh, luxury or a high end segment uh, location. So if you're looking at uh, that kind of uh, uh, high house topology to live in then you have selected the right uh, location in fact the average price out here right now is uh, 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 pretty decent it's only 5400 rupees per square foot and uh, specifically if you look at the startup project that you've chosen uh, by the name I think the destination uh, I would say that um, it's it's one of the projects, um, uh, the, the entry projects of Tata in a Noida market and they have in fact also uh, done an agreement with Lotus Greens uh, and Lotus Greens also has a, a re record of doing similar kind of uh, projects with Godrej properties also. Uh, so and even the brand value, the specifications and all the amenities that Tata has to offer, it's a decent buy to consider. Uh, the only thing that I would like to mention is that uh, the, the project is still in the initial stages of development. So uh, the position day that they have promised right now is 2021. But it, it is not certain because once the details are, uh, um, because the master plan details are also tentative, they are uh, subjected to change. So keep that point in consideration. Uh, and I think uh, you can also look at some projects which are already, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, going on in this market, uh, in, you know, comparable to Tata. I think you can look at Mahagun uh, Meadows and also uh, Gulshan Botania. Uh, I think Mahagun Meadows will be located in sector 150, whereas uh, Gulshan Botania is 144. And they are also decently priced and quite comparable. And uh, I think uh, uh, these projects might get completed earlier than Tata. So, yeah. So let's take a look at the two options that Nemun is suggesting. First is uh, Mahagun Meadows and uh, here the price is uh, ranging from 4,500 to 4,800 rupees per square foot and the unit size for a 2 BHK is uh, 1,425 square feet and this project should be ready in 2018 uh, and the other option that Nemun has for you is Gulshan Botnia. Now here the price is 4,250 rupees per square foot and the unit size for a 2 BHK is 1,025 square foot square feet and this particular project uh, is expected to be ready in 2020. It's in excavation stage right now. We just want to remind you quickly that in case you're planning to invest in property or need any advice on buying or selling a home, then do write to us at property at ntv.com. But please don't forget to leave your full name and contact number so that our team can get in touch with you. Let's go ahead and take our next caller on air. We have Reshma Dhandi with us. Uh, Reshma, go ahead. What do you want to know? I want to buy a 2 BHK flat at Chikali in Pune for residential purpose. 
My budget is between 35 to 38 lakhs. Possession, uh, I need a maximum by uh, December 2017. Okay, fine. So, uh, Nemun, uh, December 2017. So, that's a fairly short span of time. But uh, at least she's told you which area she wants to invest in. That is Chikali. What do you think about Chikali? Chikali is a good uh, market to consider, especially in that segment. Uh, the average price of Chikali, however, is around 3,700 rupees per square foot. For a 2 BHK, it might be uh, slightly beyond your budget by 4-5 lakhs or so. But again, if you look at compact uh, 2 BHK sizes within uh, that area, I'm sure you'll have a lot of options to consider. Uh, so I think we've done the research for you in the similar fashion, such that the ticket size perfectly uh, fits your budget. Uh, if you look at the, um, the data points out here, I would say that the interesting part about Chikali market is that it's got almost 5% uh, annualized returns in the past three years. So it's a growing real estate market with ample number of uh, projects actually coming in and many ready to move in options also available in this market. Uh, so I would say that this is a decent market. You should definitely go ahead with it. Uh, and coming to the projects uh, that might suit your requirement, uh, I think you can consider Aishwaryam a Courtyard. Uh, uh, the, in this project, I think the phase one is ready to move in. You can get something in resale or if you want under construction, then you can also look at the phase two, which is on the flow slab stages and it might get completed by the end of 2018. And uh, then you can also look at a blue dice uh, phase one. Uh, again, it's a ready to move in property. So you can just walk in, uh, check the project. And the third one is a river residency. Uh, river residency is priced slightly high, but this is one of the township level projects in this area. So if you want to consider uh, like, you know, a lot of amenities and, uh, you know, some high specifications, then this is also a good option to consider. Okay, so let's quickly take a look at uh, the projects Nemun is suggesting. First one is Eshwaryam Courtyard and the price here is 3,699 rupees per square foot and the unit size for 2 BHK is 934 square feet. The other option is Blue Dice Phase 1 and uh, here the price you're getting is 3,800 rupees per square foot and the unit size for a 2 BHK ranges from 875 to 922 square feet. The third option that she's got for you is River Residency Phase 3 and the price here is 4,194 and the unit size for a 2 BHK apartment is 872 square feet. So these are the three options you have. It's time for a short break now when we come back a look at what Niti Aayog proposes government should do to tackle land crunch in urban areas. Also, we get you property buying options between 60 to 70 lakhs in Bangalore.